Hey there, Boils and Ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tats, and I'm back with another video. Just wanted to make a really quick video. Um, got a nice little haul here that I'd like to show you guys, and, uh, you know, found some really nice goodies out in the wild, and, like, up there, if you can see, you know, the alien poster. Let's see if I can, like, put that up there. Yeah, I picked that baby up, and it was really nice to have that, you know. It's like, oh, yeah. So, got some other cool stuff, too. I just wanted to show you real quick, and, uh, yeah, I couldn't help it. So I went out to uh, both Zia Records and um, Bookman's, and I found some nice little things. Like, for example, I found a couple of uh, magnets for my horror magnet collection. So the first one I found is Old Boy. Pretty cool. Nice to find that one. That one's pretty cool. And this is one. I thought I already had one of these, but it turns out I don't. American Werewolf in London. And that's pretty nifty. I don't know. I just, for whatever reason, I looked at my magnet collection. I could have sworn I already had an American Werewolf in London uh, magnet. And turns out I don't have one. So, but yeah, really glad to get that. So we got these two nice little goodies here. Pick this up. I thought this was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, it's a Hocus Pocus dice set. It's really cool. I guess it's, maybe this is coming out just in time because we got the sequel supposed to be hitting pretty soon. But yeah, I have uh, three of them, three other ones. I got one of The Shining, one of Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm looking because they're right over there. Uh, the Shining, Nightmare Before Christmas, and Friday the 13th. So I have three other dice sets, but I thought this was pretty cool to have. Hocus Pocus. So that's cool. And, uh, Let's see, I got some CDs, and I've been kind of on a, on a soundtrack kick lately. I mean, I, a couple of these are not soundtrack, but, uh, you know, yeah, I just, I've been kind of on a horror soundtrack kick here, and I've been trying to find, you know, anything horror soundtrack that I don't have, and um, whether it's, you know, CD or vinyl, and uh, just right now, here lately, I've just been having more luck with um, CDs than I have with vinyl. Um, these here are not horror soundtracks obviously i got three britney spears i have oops i did it again i'm gonna lie i like me some britney spears you know i ain't gonna front so, i do i think you know not only is she you know super you know super duper gorgeous and everything but i do i like some of her songs i honestly do okay not just being a perv i do actually like some of her music and we have Femme Fatale. So, yeah. So, I know why I like me some Britney. And the original Baby One More Time. So, yep. Gee, that's clearly not Photoshopped. I don't know why you need to Photoshop her. She's gorgeous enough as it is. But Anyway, so we got those. Now, these are some soundtracks. Uh, this one here is not horror related, but I'm really glad to have found it. And this is a... If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend you see it. It's incredibly funny. If you're a fan of, if you're a fan of South Park and you haven't gotten around to see this, definitely check this out. You're going to get a good laugh. We have Orgasmo, the soundtrack. So, good movie. Fun songs on here, you know. Really glad to finally get this. I have like some of the other uh, Parker and Stone soundtracks. I have Team America soundtrack. I have, you know, South Park, uh, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. I really, really wish, you know, I need to check, you know, check, look harder, see if they ever did put one. You know, I really would love to have a soundtrack for um, Cannibal the Musical. But nice to finally get the Orgasmo soundtrack. Like I said, if you haven't seen this movie, you want something that's going to make you laugh, Orgasmo will do the trick. So, And this here, great soundtrack. It is technically a soundtrack, even though it's, you know, you got to look inside to find it, but we have ACDC, Who Made Who? The soundtrack for Stephen King's Maximum Overdrive. This is a great album. Brilliant album. So many great songs on here. Oh, man. Easily, the 80s, you know, there was a lot of great soundtracks for the movies that we had 
coming out this time and this was easily one of the absolute best if you haven't you're an acdc fan you haven't gotten this one i highly recommend you get this one man this is this is tops this is a great soundtrack you're going to want to have this and i used to have this on audio cassette and then unfortunately just over time the tape wore out so glad to finally get that back so anyway so oh and two other ones uh oh wait a minute actually three other ones okay this one here I just picked up. Unfortunately, the cover's got a little bit of damage, but still a good soundtrack, and I'm happy to get it. Us. I do recommend the soundtrack. You know, it's like, there really is some good music on here. And as you can tell, yeah, you see there's a little bit, the cover incurred a little bit of damage, but anyway. I actually really do like this movie. I know to a lot of people this was... Uh, after Get Out, I know to a lot of people, Us was such a letdown, but I really like this movie, and I am looking forward to, uh, Jordan Peele's new movie, Nope. I am looking forward to that one, but, you know, yeah, just, you know, I really do. I like this movie. I think it's a good one, so I enjoy it. And now I'm glad to have the soundtrack, so Us. Now, these two I got in the mail today. I got them from, uh, Waxwork Records. And um, I'm really hoping that this is going to kind of be the start of something that waxwork, because unfortunately, like, you know, just times are tough, man. You know, you got to you gotta live within your means, you know, especially prices going up the way they are and everything getting more and more expensive. So uh, I am really am actually kind of starting to hope that maybe, um, you know, waxwork will start putting more and more of their their titles out on CD. So and I would gladly pay the money for them, you know, if they if they cost about as much as these, but. Okay, we have the Carrie soundtrack. I've been wanting this soundtrack since forever. I love Pino Dinaggio's music for this movie, and it's so awesome. And glad to finally get a soundtrack to. I've been wanting the soundtrack to this forever. And it's like really nice to finally have it, you know. And it's like, yeah, I really wish I could have gotten it on vinyl, but it's like just right now the vinyl's like you know over forty bucks. This was 16, so yeah, I kind of had to kind of have to live within my budget at the moment, so. Here, we also got this one too. Couldn't pass this one up. We have Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Unfortunately, this doesn't have the, um, you know, the songs from the movie like, you know, uh, uh, No One Lives Forever by Oingo Boingo or something like that or, or Concrete Blonde's, you know, Haunted Head or something like that, you know, it's like. Unfortunately, they're not on here. It's all pretty much, as you can see, it's pretty much just all the, you know, orchestral score. I mean, but still, I'm I'm happy to have it. You know, just kind of would have been nice if we could have had all of it together, but this really is cool. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You know, Waxwork did great jobs on these. Okay, now we're going to get to uh, Blu-rays. Uh, I got a handful here. Uh... I just picked this up today and uh or yesterday actually and uh hopefully you know there are six seasons of this show and i have one through five i just hope that they will get around to putting out season six here pretty soon eventually but i have season five of lucifer i really dig this show this was a great show and i really enjoyed it tom ellis was awesome in this show really liked him i liked all the characters on the show you know, it does, you know, around like season five and six, yeah, it does stick, start to get quite a bit on the woke side. But you know what? I don't mind it, not on this show, because of the way they did the characters and stuff like that. Um, you know, it doesn't bother you. You know, it didn't bother me, you know. But, I mean, yeah, you can see it got a little bit on the woke side, but you know what? It didn't matter. They did such a good job and, you know, just telling a good story and making good characters. So it's like, you know what? It's like, who cares if, you know, if it got a little bit on the woke side, but still... Happy to have that, season five. Like I said, you know, just, I have seasons one through five on Blu-ray. Just put out season six so I can have a ball. I'll be happy. Oh, another thing, Vertigo. Uh, You have out seasons one through, like it, if anybody from Vertigo was going to watch this, but, you know, you put out seasons one through three of, um, you know, iZombie, because you may begin around to putting out seasons four and five. I'd like to have, you know, the entire collection of that one. One I've been having on my wish list for a long time, finally getting it off, is Nosferatu, the Kino Lorber 2-disc edition. Yeah, I have this movie, you know, I mean, I got it in, like, cheap, 
you know, $5 DVD packs and everything else. But this is one I've always been wanting to upgrade and, you know, get a really nice copy of it. And finally was able to find it out, you know, for 20 bucks. And so, yeah, classic movie, you know, the most classic, you know, probably the most classic classic of all vampire classics there's ever been, you know. But, yeah, glad to finally get, get my hands on this, get a nice copy of it. It's not one that's completely, you know, worn out and, you know, just a crappy, you know, DV or you know just a crappy you know copy off of a VHS tape so you know yeah so nice to finally have you know a nice copy of Nosferatu from Dario Argento we have the card player I have this on DVD I have a really nice steel book that's got like six Argento films and this is one of them I think the other ones in there too are like um, Phenomena, Trauma, Do You Like Hitchcock, uh what else was there? Tenebrae and something else. I don't remember. But anyway, yeah. and um, But yeah, I've been one to, up, you know, I do try to upgrade my Argento movies when I can. Um, it was either the last, no, it was probably like the video before where I did, uh, where I just picked up, um, you know, Argento's Phantom of the Opera on Blu-ray. So glad to finally get that. And, you know, yeah. So, I mean, um, and also too, I've already got the, uh, the 4K Blu-ray for Tenebrae, I have that pre-ordered, so I'm looking forward to getting that, so, anyway, but, yeah, so it's nice to see they're actually upgrading a lot of these, so, pretty cool, um, in my opinion, not the best Argento film, but you know what, I didn't mind it, it's decent giallo, so, yeah, this one here, this is a nice little upgrade, Two Terrifying Tales of Terror, we have part one and part two of Don't Look in the Basement, um, yeah, I mean, I actually just watched Don't Look in the Basement 2 a little while ago, and I have to admit, I was kind of putting it off for a while, because I was just like, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not. Actually, it was a decent little flick. It was a fun little movie. I liked it. And, uh, you know, Don't Look in the Basement, eh, not the greatest movie in the world, but still, you know. But, uh, yeah, the first Don't Look in the Basement, this is a movie I've had on numerous, just, you know, really bad DVD copies of it, so... It's nice to get a nice Blu-ray of it now. And, um, you know, don't look in... The, I had this one separately, and I just... So it's like, now, I you know, I got this all in one pack, so I can, you know, take these and I can, uh, you know, take them out and, you know, trade them in and get something else I want for them. So there you go. So, yeah, nice to have this little collection here. So I think it's a nice little upgrade. So, yeah. And this one here, it turns out... I wasn't exactly sure, but then I got home and found out. It's like, yeah, I did have this on DVD, so. But it was only like six bucks, so still it was a nice little upgrade. We have Trespassers. Turns out, yeah, I was like, I wonder if I had this on DVD. And then when I went and checked, it turns out, yeah, I did. I, I actually had this one. I haven't seen it yet, but, but anyway, yeah, come across this one. So it's like, cool, now I can just. Now I can upgrade this and I can take my DVD, trade it in, get something else I want for it. So that's pretty cool. Happy about that. So, nice. Anyway, real quick. Here are all the Blu-rays I picked up. There we go. And CDs. Got a nice stack of those, don't we? Wow. And now we just got a few more DVDs, and that'll be the end of it. This one here got for $2.50. We have Savage Creatures. Obviously, looks like a vampire movie. Not sure, but... Haven't seen it, but this is going to be cool. Hopefully, it'll be cool. But, you know, if it's not, it was only $2.50, so... Anyway. This one here, we have Reaper with Danny Trejo and Vinny Jones. I think I've seen this one before. It's the if it's the movie, I think it is. Yeah, I think I've seen this one before. It's, uh, yeah, if it's the one, I think it is. It's it's a good little flick. So, and of course, hey, you know you can't go wrong with Danny Trejo in a movie. So, got this today. Um, you know, I know there's a Blu-ray of it, but you know, I'm. This is a movie I think I can just live with it on DVD. We have the thing from another world. The original. And like I said, you know, maybe if I come across the 
Blu-ray for a good price. I love gray, but you know what? This was really cheap, dirt cheap, and you know it's in really good condition, and I can live with it on DVD for now. So anyway, I mean, of course, you know, you guys know if you watch the videos on my channel, like John Carpenter's the thing. I got to have that one on 4K, and you know, I still have the two-disc uh, Screen Factory edition too. So, so yeah, and um, the prequel, I have that one on Blu-ray, and. It is what it is. But anyway, so yeah, nice to finally get a copy of, you know, The Thing from Another World. So I've been kind of wanting this for quite a while, so I finally got it. Another one, I got a feeling this is going to be a turd, but, you know, it was only $2.50. We have The Manson Family Massacre. You know, I would show it to you. The only problem is all the stickers. Anyway, yeah, The Manson Family Massacre. Once upon a time in Beverly Hills, so, oh boy, I'm not expecting, I'm really not expecting anything good from this, but you never know. I mean, there have been some of these movies, you know, like you think they're not going to be any good, and it turns out they do surprise you. I just, I just have very, very, pretty much no expectation for this movie, so just hopefully, you know, it'll at least be, you know, worthy enough to watch maybe, you know, here and there. This is a movie I thought I did have, and turns out I didn't. Glad I picked it up, and I only had to pay two fifty for it. We have House of Salem. This is from Wild Eye. I got a couple of Wild Eyes here. Actually, my last two were Wild Eyes. Anyway, so yeah, from Wild Eye we have House of Salem. I haven't seen this yet, so I don't know how good it is. But I do admit, you know, it's like I have been kind of slacking off on my uh, on my Wild Eyes, but anyway, so yeah. And last but not least, got this at the $5 bin. We have a four mo werewolf movie pack from Wild Eye. There you go, see? Werewolf attack pack. This comes with Werewolf Island, this legend as Bite, The Snarling, uh, Cold Ground, and Wolf House. I may need to check on Wolf House. I may have that already, but you know, if I do this, like, no, I can just trade that in, you know, and I got like all these four movies in this nifty little set. So. Actually, it's like, I don't know how good the picture quality is going to be. Whoa! Damn it. Don't know. Sorry about that. Don't know how the picture quality is going to be on that. As you can see, all four movies are on one disc. So, I don't know. I can't guarantee the picture quality is going to be great. But, hopefully, at least it will be watchable. So, anyway. Just, yeah, glad to, you know, glad to get this. But, uh, anyway. So, this is going to do it for the DVDs. And uh, that's it. So, yeah. So, uh, if anybody took the time to watch this video, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, I have more um, videos coming, you know, your way and everything. And uh, I also do videos for a show called Body Bags on YouTube. And, uh, oh, just real quick, I want to give a shout out to some of the guys on um, YouTube. They're on uh, Body Bags, you know. They're great guys and they really do, you know, great stuff. Uh, there's James. Uh, he does a great job. Um, let's see. There's um, Rob with VHS 82 uh, apostrophe. Give him a give him a look. You know, he's doing like right now he's doing like shelf by shelves and, you know, uh, doing his countdown of his favorite horror films of all time. So give him a, you know, give him a look. Give him a sub. He's pretty good. Um, you have Chris from Crispy Movies. Give him a, you know, give him a shout out. Um um, one thing you gotta know about Chris though, and you know, his name is Chris and he loves B movies. So yeah, so Chris B movies. Um, let's see, there's uh, Glenn from, uh, BDG reviews. Give him a check. You know, he's really good. Does a lot of really good stuff. Um, I can't forget Jason from, uh, horrific nightmares, you know, Jason, he's awesome. You know, give, you know, check out his videos. He's always got some really good haul videos and everything else. And he does, you know, like his own movie reviews and things, stuff. So, yeah, give him a look. And uh, there's Sam. Don't forget Sam, too, from Flying Kite. So, uh, yeah, so uh, just a quick shout-out to all the boys on Body Bags. And, you know, yeah, if you guys get a chance, give them a sub. Check out their videos. They do great stuff, too. And, you know, if you love horror, if you love what I'm doing, you know, like, you know, the haul videos and stuff like that, you love the stuff I do, you're going to love these guys' videos. So, uh, and check out their channel. So, and check out Body Bags. So, uh, that's it, everybody. Take care. Have a good night. And I'll see you later, boils and ghouls.